Hi and greetings. My name is Pastor Charles Williams and I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System. I'm coming to you here today uh, because of something very, very big that's about to happen here later, later this week. And um, I'm talking about National Amber Alert Awareness Day. That's right. National Amber Alert Awareness Day is this Sunday. Okay. It's this Sunday on um, Sunday, January 13th, 2013. That's this Sunday. Okay. Wow. Can you believe it's right up on us? I've been talking about this for about 47 days now. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, listen, on this day, uh, on this particular Sunday, I am asking you if you are the caretaker or you have been entrusted to children, you're a parent, grandparent, um, uh, uh, you know, whatever, uh, teacher, principal, or, or whatsoever, anyone that has been entrusted or has any contact at all with parents, I mean with children, I'm asking you to please take a few minutes out of your busy schedule, would you uh, take a few moments out of your curriculum to simply share a few safety tips with the children that you have been entrusted with, okay? It could very well make a difference between life and death. Uh, this year, we have had several uh, Amber Alerts that have turned out to be uh, totally successful. And I thank you, the general public, uh, for that. But on this year, we're asking people to just simply raise the awareness. Wherever you are, if you're a pastor of a church, or you're a member of a, of a civic organization, or, or, or whatsoever, you can use this video. Okay, you can use this video and uh, starting right now uh, that uh, I can share and, and talk to the kids here for you. So if you want to replay this, it's absolutely fine. You have my permission to do so. Um, but, you know, I was uh, recently talking to some children the other day. And uh, I, the way I do it is I go to them and I approach them and I say, hey, who's smarter than a fifth grader? And I'm asking all of you all that right now. Hey, who's smarter than a fifth grader? And everybody's hand flew up. We were out there at the bus stop. Everybody's hand flew up. And then I said, okay, uh, if you're smarter than a fifth grader, what do you do when somebody comes up to you and says, will you help me find my dog? Come, go with me. Help me find my dog. Here, here come on, get in the car. Help me find my dog. In the whisk of a moment, what do you do? Do you get in the car with somebody to help them go find their dog? Or do you say, no, I better go get my mommy and my daddy or go tell another adult that there's somebody out here trying to ask us to get into his or her car. You know, not all, not all people that abduct people are men. You know, there are women that abduct uh, 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 children as well. There are women who perhaps could not have any children of their own, and they went out, and they will try to go out, and they will try to steal a baby. That's right. We helped to save a baby one time that a mother had just given birth to in Lubbock, Texas. And the uh, uh, and a, a, a person who could not have a baby, she came into that hospital and she stole that lady's baby. She sure did. But you know what happened? An Amber Alert was issued and, and within hours, within hours, they had found that lady's baby. And you know what the Amber Alert founder did? He took and he sent that baby its first big bundle of Pampers. He sure did. You know, uh, I'll give you another Amber Alert story. Okay, there was a uh, th there was a situation in uh, in Georgia where what they actually called the Amber Alert, the Levi's called there in Georgia. But there was a situation there in Georgia where there was a father who took his three children out into the woods and he killed all three of them and he killed himself too yuck yuck right right so you so you know what the amber alert found it did you know what the police did rather the police first of all they took and they issued a levi's call and an amber alert and you know what it went all over the united states of america it sure did. They were really trying to find that man and those three kids because they felt like something was going to happen and it wasn't going to be good. And you know what? It wasn't good. So, you know how this story ends up? This story ends up by, this story ends up on a sad note. 
Okay, that man killed all of his kids. But you know what? You know what the Amber Alert founder did? The Amber Alert founder, he got together a correlation of people in the community, and they took and buried, they paid for everything. I mean, it cost almost $20,000 to bury all three of those kids and their father. But you know what? The Amber Alert founder, he took and, 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 and they raised all, everything that was needed to be raised and, and flew that family from Georgia to uh, Indiana and, and they had a big funeral and it was people everywhere. And you know what? And at the, at the cemetery, the funeral home and the, the Amber Alert founder, they presented the family, uh, the young lady, who, the mother of the children, they presented her with a, with, with a zero balance. Now, that means that she didn't have to pay no money at all. That means that she could go ahead and grieve and, and cry and miss her children without having to pay any more bills, you know. And so that's what the Amber Alert founder did. He doesn't do that all the time, but that time he was, he was compelled to, to do that. So there are a lot of things that that guy called the Amber Alert founder, he really does behind the, the scenes that a lot of people don't know about. But that's not really important because what is important is keeping you, the kids, safe. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to practice smart stuff. I want you to practice safe stuff. Okay? I want to practice staying safe. If you don't feel right about something, when you go home, you tell your mother, or you tell your father, or you tell your big mama, or you tell your granny, or you tell your, your nanny, or you tell your yaya, or your, or your papa, whoever is in charge of you, you tell them, I don't feel, I don't feel right about uh, walking home because there's a guy down the street. They say he's crazy, but I don't know how crazy he is but they say he's crazy and but he looks at me real strange when when I'm walking home and I sometimes I feel like I have to run home you tell your parents about about that if somebody asks you to get into their car or a van comes up to your bus stop oh no you don't you don't even talk to them you back away from the corner that's another thing when waiting on the bus at your bus stop don't wait on the corner Step back to the sidewalk, okay? Because somebody in a car can reach by, and if you're on the corner on the curb, they can reach by and grab your arm or your backpack or, or whatever and drag you into a car. And we wouldn't want that to happen because then Mr. Amber Alert founder would have to uh, make sure that people issued an Amber Alert for you. And we don't want that to ever, ever, never, never happen. I'm going to tell you about another story. There was a young girl who was in Florida. She was in one part. She was in one part of Florida, and 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 you know what happened? A mean man came up and grabbed her from the bus stop. Yes, he sure did. That's the report that we had. Is that a mean man came up and grabbed her at the bus stop? And you know what he did? He took and put her in the trunk of his car. Oh yes, he did. He put her in the trunk of his car and drove her all the way down to Miami, Florida. I mean, like almost 200 miles away from where she lived at. And, 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 and don't know everything that happened, but somehow or another, when the man let the girl loose, she got on the phone and, and called the police and called 911 and told them where she was and that she wanted to come home and that she was scared and that people had, mean people had done mean, mean and horrible things to her. So this is what uh, the Amber Alert is, is all about. It's not nothing to be scared of. It's something that will come after you. It's something that will look for you in the event that mean people try to do things to try to harm you. Okay? So I just wanted you to hear that from me, Mr. Amber Alert founder. Okay? Alright, so know that I love you and this is, I've enjoyed these few minutes of just talking to you. Okay, and so um, what are you going to do the next time? Now, teachers, you can pick it up from here, okay? What are you going to do the next time somebody tries to give you a piece of candy and tell you to come closer to the car to get a piece of candy? Remember, always say no to a piece of candy and always say no to helping somebody find their dog 
always say no to helping someone find their kitty cat. Believe it or not, I know we're living in the 20th century, but they're still using those old tactics to try to entice children to come to them. My name is Amber Alert founder, Pastor Charles Williams, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps on this National Amber Alert Awareness Day. Thanks, and God bless now. Peace, and I'm out. Bye-bye.